Hello guys, this is Rich or is TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, we'd like to shout out the Pauline Priestry channel na punta rito at na-join sa devotional natin the other night. Marami-rami po ito. No? Shout out and God bless to Nanay Amakolda, Computer Lux, Arn Vem Channel, Filipina Abroad, Mimi Con, Hilda Dison, Cherry Pie, Lovely Catalan, M. Ski Blog, Quincy Puno, Raquel Orsina Blogs, Heart Ponsalan, Ismami Rose, Lini Paala, Jane Norio 13, Loris Channel TV, Scarlet Bungisnis, Mercy Knows Heaven, Ida Villanueva, Don't Give Up, Blog 8P, Patnon Blog, Beatrice Caranto, Seisha Lab, Devs Bilia, uh, Babe Co, 31, Kat Lay, Mama Susan Whitey, Pamilya Lagan Channel, John Paul Nunez, Gandang Psyche, Yang TV, Misana Doronio, Dayan Pakadalhin, Sir JB Blog, MPC Channel, The, The Galgos Blog, Dia Lakdag, and Teres Angel Benedicto. Still guys, hindi pa rin tapos yung feeling namin kasi iba't ibang area yung pinapuntahan namin. No? Uh, patuloy pa rin kami namimigay sa mga uh, pagkain. No? Order namin sa Jollibee na bless yung iba because of what you have done, what you have given. But still, if you wanted uh, still to uh, give something for this less fortunate uh, na mga kapatiran namin natin dito sa place namin particularly the PWD at mga parking boys you can still drop your Gcas no my Gcas ako dyan, number you can send it direct to me okay guys let's now proceed to our devotional let's open our bubble to Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 27 then let's jump to uh, chapter 2 verse 15 still guys I'm using the devotional study bible because the words used here is a simplified na maintindihan talaga natin okay the word of the Lord in Genesis 1 26-27 says then God said let us make man in our own image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over the, all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So let's jump to chapter 2 verse 15, and it says, the Lord God took the man and put it on the Garden of Eden to work in and take care of it. Amen and Amen. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, pray, guys. Father God, we thank you, our God, for the opportunity that you have created us all a little lower than the angel. You have created us, O Lord God, to have a dominion over all the creation you have made here on earth. Thank you above all that you have created us in your own image. Lord, even as you lead us to uh, become a steward of what you have given us, Lord God, particularly as what you have said, uh, you, we need to cultivate so we will also grow and prosper. Lord, thank you that you have given us authority to do so. I pray to God to please bless all of us who are here, the viewers that dito ngayon. Lalo lalo na dear God, yung mga bago and even to those who are faithful to come to join the devotional. Lord, you know we're, how we work hard for our living in order to support our family uh, and members and even to those people who need our help. Lord, I pray to please bless us, O oh God. Yung, uh, bless the toil we made, O oh God. Uh, prosper naman kami. Not only for ourselves, but uh, extending the help we could give to other people also, Lord. Lord, thank you for blessing our hands. Thank you for giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on what to do, our God. Maski na de God, you desire namin na we will be healed from the infirmities we're suffering, our God. 
Lord, marami sa amin dito na may kapansanan na Ikaw din, dear God, ang uh, maghipo sa bawat isa. So we will be healed from such infirmities. Even those who are suffering emotionally, oh God, kung ano man yung root cause nun, Lord, I pray for healing. Give us peace and presence of mind as we move on. We commit all these things to you, oh God. In this name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. And it says, the Lord, took, the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Amen. So the topic we have for the title of devotion for this evening guys is Cultivating God's World. World, huh? World. Okay. Dad, why do you have to go to work? The question from my young daughter was motivated by her desire to play with me. I would have preferred to skip work and spend time with her, but there was a growing list of things at work that required my attention. The question, nevertheless, is a good one. Why do you work? It is simply to provide for ourselves and for the people we love. Yan yung pinipray natin kanina. O nga naman, no? <laughs> yung desire ng father na to just play with the daughter, spending time with the daughter, maganda naman talaga yun, but we need to pray. We need to work. Diba? Okay. It is simply to provide for ourselves and for the people we love. What about labors that un that's unpaid? Why do we do that? Genesis 2 tells us that God placed the first human in the garden to work and to take care of it. My father-in-law is a farmer, and he often tells me he farms for the sheer love of land and livestock. That's beautiful, but it leaves lingering question for those who don't love their work. Why did God put us in a particular place with a particular assignment? Genesis 1 gives us the answer. We're made in God's image to carefully steward the world he made. Pagan stories of the way the world began reveals God, making human to their slaves. Genesis declares that the one true God made humans to be his representatives, to stay word what he'd made on his behalf. May we reflect his wise and loving order into the world. Work is a call to cultivate God's world for his glory. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, no, I remember yung Colossians 3, no, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God, no? Maske, whatever you, things you do, gano'n naman talaga sana yung gagawin natin, no? Kaya ako, guys, no, because uh, haba ng pinagdadasal ko, no, right after waking up, hindi ko talaga mapigilan na to work. So, while working, while nagsasayin, while nagluluto ng, ng ulam, no, I'm still praying for it, no? Dapat kasi yun yung requirements eh. We need to be a steward of where we are. No? Kaya nga sabi niya dito, we need to work and take care of the place. No? Sa gaya ng ginawa ni, ano, ni Adam and Eve, they are demanded to work and be a steward of the Garden of Eden. But it is also where they fall. Sa ating guys, it is really a struggle kasi sa mga trabaho natin, may mga struggle sa laga tayo. No? May mga relationship na hindi magaganda. Ako pa may mga ganyan, I just keep quiet and ano ko na lang, i-pray ko na lang siya. No? Well, nasasaktan tayo pag may mga ganyan na nangyayari. No? Especially if those people will not agree sa mga ideas natin, i-pray na lang natin yan guys. Anyway, we have the advantage because we are located by the image of God. That means na special tayo kay Lord. Kaya i-pray na lang natin yan guys. No? Okay, so let's now proceed to the two question. What's the work God has given you to do? Ah, uh, ito. No? Kaya nga, sabi ko, no? uh, I cannot uh, get rid of this what I'm doing because it is what God's mandate for me to do. No? To share God's word sa world. No? Kasi YouTube is using, uh, used here. Then, I praise God naman na may mga pupunta rito, nanonood, no? Lalo-lalo na kayo guys. That's why, as a payback, no, hindi naman ako nakaka-ano sa inyo. 
uh, pera na ako magpasa, pwede chat ako, so pwede sticker at magpa-member. Uh, aside from that is, you're assured of my prayer kasi uh, I really long to pray for you. I have a specific time. Yan na talaga yung mga ano ko, ma, ma, ay pagyabang ko na you are being prayed for. Bago ka man dito, matagal ka naman, regular ka na pumupunta dito, you are being prayed for. Kasi lahat na pumupunta dito while you are, ano, no, uh, commenting on the live chat, in the screenshot ko yun at nililista ko yung mga pangalan nyo. Uh, just like what happened last night, napakadami, no? Napakadami, oh. Puno, puno yan. So, uh, you are being prayed for and that's the advantage. And it is where I'm conducted. God to do for you. Okay, second question. How could you cultivate this field? By bringing order into it and bringing good from it by His grace. Yes, uh, I'm cultivating you through prayer, through the sharing. No? Uh, naalala ko yung na, no, na tutunan ko sa campus ko si for Christ na sabi niya, share the word of the, share the word of God and uh, share the word of God with the presence of the Holy Spirit and leave the result to God. Yan yung ginagawa ko guys. Kasi that's what is being inculcated in my mind na natutunan ko rin sa campus crossing for Christ. No? Share the word of God with the presence of the Holy Spirit and leave the result to God. Kaya I do not worry. May mga problema kayo dyan. Si Lord na ang, ano, si Lord na ang bahala mga sagot niyan. Basta I have done my part to you na pinipray ko kayo. Okay guys, let's now pray. <clears throat> Dear God, thank you for the honor of joining you in your work in the world. Help us to reflect your love, wisdom, and order in our life and in the place where we work. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's cultivate the world we are in. Ay guys, sana na bless tayo, no? Galing magpunta rito, manood, mag-join sa Divorce na Nerds TV. It is always at 8 o'clock every day. God bless us all guys because I know God would surely bless us 10 times better. This again, Nerds TV. Kita-kita tayo muli tayo sa muli. Paalam!